now available in paperback and e-readers, Spellbound, a darker shade of black. Get your copy today at your favorite online bookseller. I recently got a chance to take a look at the video of the so-called pro-black simp who was going to go and bust out all of the windows of an Asian nail salon with a bunch of bricks, all because he believed that the owners of that nail salon were disrespecting black women. And when I take a critical examination of this so-called pro-black simp, I see a man who fits the pattern and profile I talked about as regarding to beta males in my book, The Man Crisis, and I see a man who fits the pattern and profile for a Captain save him that I talked about in my book, The Misadventures of Captain save -Ho. And in his efforts to go out here and defend the honor of disrespected black women, this pro-black simp Tyrone was playing the role of a Captain save -Him, just like I talked about in Misadventures of Captain save -Ho. And this pro-black Captain save -Him was wearing his Mickey Mouse galoshes and his red, black, and green Ben Cooper cape as he went to go to the rescue of these black women with a big bag of bricks to throw through that window in an effort to defend the honor of these black women. But what was going on here with this pro-black simp was he was being used by these black women who were egging him on to go out here and bust out those windows. And what was happening to this pro-black simp was he was being goaded and egged on by these women who had no interest in this man defending their honor. And what these women were doing was running a crap test on this beta male to see what they could get this man to do so that they could see what boundaries they could push in the future. So this beta male, because he did not have any sort of critical thinking skills as related to women, he fell for a game as related to these black females, and he failed the crop test because he didn't understand that when a female eggs you on to participate in criminal behavior, what you need to do is set a boundary for yourself where you sit there and tell her that, look, yes, these people did you dirty, but I'm not going to go out here and put my safety and freedom at risk to defend your honor. If you feel you have been done wrong by this nail salon, then you need to stop going to this nail salon. That is what a man does when a female comes to him talking about how some business owned by a foreigner has done them wrong. He tells that woman, look, if you feel so slighted by this business, then you need to stop spending your money with this business. But this pro-black simp, Tyrone, he didn't have the backbones or the stones to check this female. No, what happened with this man was he was looking to get brownie points with this female and this group of females. And he thought that if he went out here and busted out these windows of this nail salon, he was going to get favor from these females. But these females never had any interest in Tyrone at all. And basically, they were using Tyrone as a pawn in their game to see what type of drama they could start up with Tyrone in their crap test and see what type of boundaries they could push with Tyrone and see what they could get away with him in the future. But because your Tyrone did not have any sort of critical thinking skills, this is why he went over to that nail salon looking to bust out those windows of that Asian nail salon, talking about, again, how these black women were being disrespected, when in actuality, 
those black women were disrespecting Tyrone by having him get into their dispute with that Asian nail salon, and it showed how cowardly this group of black females were by going and getting this beta male to go do their dirty work, because if these women had such an issue with this nail salon, again, they would have gone out here and dealt with that whole issue by keeping their money in their purse. But they wanted to see, again, what they could get away with with Tyrone, and Tyrone fell for the game. Now, your Tyrone is a pro-black simp, and as a pro-black simp, what he is, what he's trying to do again is get those brownie points with those females, but his actions just showed how deeply dysfunctional your Tyrone is, because by him going to that nail salon and busting out all of those windows, all he has done is prove most of those racist owners' points about violent black men, and also it have, really has not affected their business because as David Carroll stated in his video, their insurance was going to pay for those windows. Moreover, even after he went out and busted the windows and got arrested, business boomed at that nail salon. So all of his efforts were in vain as related to this nail salon, and any self-aware brother who understands group economics would have told him that that course of action that those women were goading him on to participate in would be completely ridiculous. Because any man like myself who understands the concept of group economics, we understand you don't go out here and attack these foreign businesses by doing things like busting out the car, busting out the windows of that business, because we know that that's not going to impact their business at all. In fact, all that's going to do is generate controversy that leads to that business getting more business. Now, if you want to deal with these businesses like these Arab-owned stores, these Korean nail salons, and other businesses which leech off the black community and suck 97% of black dollars out of the black community, the only thing that's going to stop that from happening is black men and black women not spending their money in these businesses that give you subpar products and subpar services. And if this brother was so self-aware, instead of him going to attack this nail salon's windows to defend the honor of a group of dishonorable black females, what this man would be doing would be making a plan to steer these sisters to black-owned businesses and get black, keep black dollars in the black community. That is what a self-aware black person like myself would do, is make efforts to try to find the black-owned nail salon and steer black businesses over there. Because to talk about how these Asian people are disrespecting you, and then to keep going to that nail salon shows how dysfunctional these females are, how disingenuous those females are, and how they had no respect for this pro-black beta male, and how they were just using this pro-black beta male as a tool to get attention for themselves, a tool to get drama going, and a tool to get jammed up. And after they used this tool, what these females did was they took this tool and discarded it because when it comes down to these females, just like I talked about in Misadventures of Captain Savaho, what they do with Captain Savaho's is that they have them in their trick bag, and then after they have finished using the Captain Savum, they then abandon the Captain Savum to suffer whatever fate happens to him. And this Captain Savum, once those black female police officers arrested him, I guarantee you. Those females wanted nothing to do with this guy, and this guy couldn't see the big picture as related to things because 
Those women had him in the trick bag. They then took him out of the trick bag, told him this cockamamie story about how he was going to defend their honor at this Asian nail salon, sent him out here with a bag of bricks, and then after he busted out the windows, that's when they smashed the kryptonite doo-doo into this pro-black Captain Savum's face and then wiped that doo-doo right on the back of his red, black, and green Captain Savum cape. So when you have these Captain Savums, they don't really understand that you cannot be a hero to people who are dishonorable like these predatory females out here and you have to go out here and if you want to make a plan of action you have to make a plan of action that's constructive but the big problem with this Captain Savum was that he was a pawn of these females he was being led by these females and he was not taking charge of things the way a man would take charge of it. Now a man, again, like myself who is self-aware and understands group economics, he's going to take the lead by saying, okay, if these people in this Asian nail salon are disrespecting you, then you need to keep your money in your pocket. Moreover, we need to go find the black-owned nail salon, and I guarantee you, if he were to have proposed that the way I'm proposing that right now, those women would start getting defensive, they would start getting argumentative, and they would start making excuses for why they couldn't go to the black-owned nail salon. And once you started to hear them making those excuses and getting defensive, that's when you would realize how full of crap these females are and how they really were not about trying to get better service from a black business or empowering themselves. It was all about the drama they could start and the drama they could get going on in the community. So basically, this was all a w elaborate crap test where this Captain Savum with his red, black, and green cape and his Malcolm X boots decided to fly in the air and be a hero. But in actuality, he was being manipulated by a group of villains who were egging him on in order to see him fall and then get that kryptonite doo-doo smashed in his face and then possibly get locked up for a crime that was going to mess up his life because what was he going to get out of this for defending the so-called honor of dishonorable black women? Is that felony record worth the honor of a dishonorable black woman who the next week would be in that Korean nail salon spending over a hundred dollars on getting her fingernails and toenails done and going out here and taking money out of your community. That's something that this beta male wasn't thinking about as related to what this female was doing, using him as a pawn in her chess game and using him as a tool to go out here and do her dirty work. Now this beta male just shows, again, that the whole idea of being a so-called pro-black simp, a simp that goes out and is a tool trying to defend the honor of dishonorable black women without vetting those women to see if these are honorable sisters. Because a man, again, is going, when he hears a statement like this, he is going to investigate, he's going to take, and then after he investigates, he is going to take the lead, and the thing, solution he's going to propose to those females, again, is, one, you are going to stop spending your money in these Asian-owned nail salons. Two, you are going to either find a black-owned nail salon, or you're going to start learning how to do your nails for yourself. And these are the solutions that a man is going to propose, and if the woman does not want to follow those solutions, then he knows that this woman is full of crap and he knows not to listen to her complain because when you have a person who gives you a problem and they don't want to solve the problem that shows you how full of crap that female is and that that female again is looking to get attention and drama and what you need to do is when you see a female like this cut those females off 
and then leave them to their fate because a female who wants to go out here and start drama, that's a woman who will get you locked up and she'll get you your life messed up. And then once you have the felony on your record like this, like this Tyrone has right now, they'll tell you it's all your fault. And partially it is your fault because you listened to a female and followed the lead of a female instead of taking charge and saying that, look, yes, these people did you wrong, but then you need to stop going to that place because those Asian-owned nail salons, Arab-owned stores, and other foreign-owned businesses can only make money in a black community where people continue to spend dollars in these places. And the way to put these people out of business for their bad products and their bad services is to not spend your money in those businesses and keep your money in your pocket and then only spend it with those who will value your money because with 3.3 trillion in cash and credit in the black community we need to start seeing value not just in our money but we need to start seeing value in ourselves and if we valued ourselves we would not be spending money with people who showed us no respect gave us substandard products, substandard services, and then gave us unprofessional, disrespectful customer service because when black people value themselves, they say that their do they show how valuable their dollars are and they understand it doesn't make sense to spend your money with those who show you no respect. If you'd like to see me make more videos like this, you can donate to my Patreon my PayPal or my Cash App by clicking the link in the description box. And if you want to learn why beta males like Tyrone go out of their way to participate in dysfunctional behavior like busting out windows of Asian-owned nail salons to defend the honor of dysfunctional and dishonorable black females, you can pick up my books, The Man Crisis, Stop Simping, and The Misadventures of Captain save -Ho on Amazon.com in Kindle formats. And you can get The Man Crisis and Stop Simping in paperback formats. That's all I have to say for this video. You can comment, rate, and subscribe.